Even though some of my students have really good understanding of radioactive decay, sometimes they struggle with balancing the two sides of decay equations. So here's just a quick video of me showing you how to balance decay equations. So before we begin, let's just write down the mass number and atomic number for alpha, beta, and gamma. For alpha particles, we know that there are four nucleons, so its mass number is four. Its atomic number is two because it has two protons. Beta particles are electrons, so its mass number is zero, and its atomic number is minus one. Since gamma is just a wave, its mass number is zero, and its atomic number is also zero. Let me give you an example of alpha decay. The left-hand side of the equation is the elements that we start with. We start with thorium, and it decays into radium via alpha decay. So in the exam, they are likely to leave the atomic number and mass number on the right-hand side of the equation blank, and you have to fill those in. The first thing you should complete is the mass number and atomic number for alpha particle because it's always going to be 4 and 2. Then you can just draw a dotted line down the middle separating the right hand side from the left hand side of the equation. You know that on the right hand side you need a total of 228. So we have 4 from the alpha particle. So what you need is 224 to make up the rest. 224 plus 4 is equal to 228. Do the same for the atomic number. You need 88 plus 2 to make up the 90 on the left-hand side. Let's try another example, americium. It decays into neptunium via, again, alpha decay. And just like before, we write down the mass number and atomic number for alpha first. We need to add 237 to 4 in order to total 241. We do the same for the atomic number. 93 plus 2 gives us 95. Now both sides of the equation are equal. Now let's look at beta decay. So we have carbon-14 decaying into nitrogen and a beta particle. So again we write down the mass number and atomic number for beta first, and then work out what else we need in order to add up to what's on the left-hand side. Since the mass number of beta particle is 0, we know that the mass number of nitrogen must be 14. Here's the slightly trickier part because beta particle has a minus 1 for its atomic number. So all we need to do is just think backwards. Subtracting 1 from what gives us 6? So 7 minus 1 gives us 6, so we know that the atomic number for nitrogen is 7. And finally we have gamma. Um, gamma decay usually happens following either an alpha or beta decay. So very often you're going to see a lengthier decay equation because we need to add an alpha particle or a beta particle in the equation before gamma. Protactinium decays into uranium via beta decay and then gamma decay. To balance this equation, we do exactly as we've done before. We know from theory the mass number and atomic number for beta particle and for gamma already, so we write those down. And we can pretty much just ignore gamma um, when doing our math because gamma um, has zero for its mass and atomic number. 234 plus 0 is going to give us what's on the left-hand side, and then 92 minus 1 gives us 91 on the left-hand side. I hope that you find this quick recap on balancing decay equation useful. Thanks for watching.